Nah, you just watch this. Nah, you bring it for yourself. Don't worry about it. Paul will just pop for himself. What do you say? Oh, wow. This is my. Oh, that's. Well, surprise, surprise. So she didn't show up again. I guess that means all but one of us win the bet. Again. He still has time. Well, uh, I don't. So we're getting started. Actually, I have a question. <sighs> what did this guy go? I'm pretty sure we auctioned off Socio C quite a while ago. Why are we waiting for him? Well, because I sent him a New Year's role-playing invitation, and he RSVP'd in the positive. And, uh, let's face it. Terrible pirates just not doing anything with the sea. Hey, someone say my name. Don't worry. It's very simple. We'll let you know when there's a fight. Yeah, very much about it. I know. Everything all right over there? Oh, yeah, we cool. Just, uh, you know, accidentally destroyed the fridge again. Only for the third time this week. <laughs> He's getting better. Oh, oh, it's only the third one, I mean. Oh, yeah, you should have seen what, what we were doing all that Thanksgiving, putting away all them cold ones, right, uh, Kim? <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, about that. When someone says they finished the cold one, mm -hmm. they mean the beer, not the beer cooler. That makes so much more sense now. If no one else minds, I'm gonna hand out some of these character sheets. <sighs> we're gonna get this started. What are we playing tonight? A special World's Largest One Shot we're gonna go through. Pre made some characters and assigned them all to you. So, let's get started. There you go. Well, let's see here. As, uh, I was playing someone named uh, Bud. Bud, that's a really weird name. You think that's weird? He called me Jerk. That's Soda Jerk. That's still not nice. I ain't Soda a Jerk at all. Uh, Bacchus, that's a uh, shorthand for bartender. Oh, I love Spotting. Thanks. I thought that was the guy that refilled the vending machine. No, that guy's called Unfortunate. Anthropologically speaking, Soda Jerk started a proud tradition of men doing basic service jobs just to make sure the community survived. You know, you shouldn't belittle that. All right. Everyone familiar with the character? Um, Actually, no. All right. What questions do you have? <laughs> and that's why your great-grandmother's uncle fled from Prussia. Thanks for clearing that up. That was bothering me. Are there any other questions? What's the campaign called? It's it's right there in your sheet. Can't you s never mind. It's called Pleasantville. Now, Kelvin, you find yourself in your parents' living room watching your favorite television program, Pleasantville. You're set to watch the 12-hour marathon since you already did your homework. Oh, man, of course he did. He invented homework. Uh, not yet, Bagus. I haven't found origin just yet. But I, once I do... Because of that time travel thing, we spend a lot of time talking about that nonsense. Psycho! You got in trouble. You have a hot date coming over. He wants to watch MTV and then make out with you. What do you do? Um, I was pretty sure I was just going to be here tonight. In character, let me fill in the blanks. You finish preparations, laying on plenty of sultry accessories. Then you go downstairs, where you find that Kelvin's character now controls the TV set. Wait, what year is this set in? Late 90s, so 98, 99, in there. And we only have one television. What are we, destitute? Yo, yeah, Silo got a point there. Even I had a TV back then, and I was homeless. Yeah, and why are you just, like, sharing a TV with my sister? I did not tell her to be juvenile. Did I mention that you're both teenagers? Oh. Yeah, your conversation goes a little bit like this. Cut it out, David. Mark Davis is going to be here in, like, minutes. Well, great. The Pleasantville Marathon starts at 6.30. I don't believe this. He's gonna, like, be here. Great, you can watch it upstairs. Upstairs? Upstairs? It doesn't have any stereo. The remote plays just in the carpet. What do you do? Well, I manually change the channel on the set. You could do that, if there are buttons on it, which there aren't. Really? A 1999 TV with no knobs? You know, Sido, just because you played a teenage girl doesn't mean you got to complain like one. Ooh, he got a critical. What's providing? Right, well, on that note, Kelvin, what do you do? Well, that's yeah, simple. I just go back in time to before it failed and catch it. <gasps> that's brilliant, yo! Thank you. Your, uh, your character can't do that. That's really weird, dude. I, 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 I guess I just go buy a new remote. Well, before you can run off your local TV shed and buy a new remote, there's a ringing on the doorbell. Who answers it? Since I assume it's my date, I go ahead and answer the door. TV repair? TV repair? Yeah, TV busted. Yeah? Well, here I am. Interesting. Can I roll a perception? Sure, but what are you trying to spot? Weapons in the toolkit. Dude, really? What, you think a kindly old man's just gonna repair our television at random? He's obviously a serial killer. Just gotta rationale for everything, don't you? 
It's got a cool hammer in there, but you don't spot any weapons. Silo is just suspicious of everybody. It's clearly Doctor Who. Who? Yes. What? Who? Anyway! When Kelvin answers a random question about an old sitcom correctly, Barney offers him a very special remote. It's silver, sleek, and... The ultimate way to experience your favorite program! <sighs> it not only increases the clarity of the picture, it actually puts you inside the programming! That's 100% reality for you and yours from now on! Andrew, stop! For only three easy payments of $39.99 plus shipping... <laughs> Sorry, the new medication still isn't 100%. I could write my dissertation on you. Where was I? Uh, oh, yes, yes. Uh, you two have the new remote. So what do you do now? What well, is simple. You use it to watch Pleasant View. I go ahead and take it to try and watch my concert. Why don't you just go to his place? It, it'd be good. I can watch my TV show. You can get all the heavy nicking and petting that you want. Obviously, my empty house is a much better place to try the heavy petting thing. You find yourselves in black and white and... If you squint really hard, you think you might see a sepia tone, but you're wrong. Antor was right, you guys got teleported! His psychotic break gave him clarity. I just read the campaign earlier. Antor! Now you're in trouble. You find your children that arrive home from school, and your husband's back from work. What do you do? Well, it's the 50s, right? Right. Then I already have dinner ready and invite them to pleasantly partake. I'm impressed, very good. Give yourself one experience. Yes! And yet you gave me nothing for acting like a teenage girl. And I feel to see how that's different for you. Ooh, maximum damage! The TV repairman appears to Psycho and Kelvin on the TV, explaining to you that you are now uh, inside the uh, 50s sitcom. Kelvin, uh, you can actually now roll an occult knowledge whenever someone actually asks you something about the events of the Dude, town. this town's a cult? Nah, 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 nah. It's all cult, Bacchus. It has to do with, like, religions and black magic. And why am I character worship this show? Prove to me that's not how fandom works. You a big fan. Apparently! Wait, what do I roll? Your character knows absolutely nothing about this TV show, and she's going to be totally lost the entire time. Pah, of course, really. If this is your way of ridiculing my study habits, I swear to God, Kelvin. They take role-playing siblings it's very serious. All right, I guess so. Say, how do you offload the ships once you're full of loot? The gibberish you're speaking doesn't really do anything for Oh, sorry. Congratulations. Your arguing drove the TV man away. What? Give you a week or two to change your attitude. Come back! Come back! You're now trapped in the 50s. What do you do? You should invest in Apple. That is not good. That's a good idea, Bacchus. But I think, I think I got a better idea. If we play along and do what we're supposed to do in the episode, the repair guy might come back and send us back home. Oh, that might, that makes more sense. With Auntie Anne and the Tin Man. And I'll miss you most of all, Scarecrow. Great. How am I supposed to do that? I don't know anything about this show. Oh, uh, don't worry. I'll tell you. Terrible Pirate! Yarr. You get the sudden and express urge to ask out Sweet Mary Sue. Who? Psycho's character? Well, I guess I ask her out. Those doubloons were so not worth it. So, Psycho, how does Mary Sue respond? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I take her to Lover's Lane and sleep with them. You what? Dude, you just scored. Way to go. Uh huh. Talo, why did you do that? Because I wanted to. The standard set by mainstream 50s media is totally incongruent with the way I, that our reality actually is. The humanity of our... These people just need a release, and I'm here to give it to them. Well, whatever your reasons, you did it. The perfect little town is now filled to the brim with positive whispers about what happened. In fact, your friends come up to you, and they totally want to know what you did to Terrible Pirate. I tell them what happens. Dance awesome! Do I get laid too? That reminds me, uh, Kelvin, you're actually quite late for work right now. Uh, Bacchus is there alone. I'm going to the cafe! Bud. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I just had to help my folks and then I couldn't find my hat. I didn't know what to do. What's wrong? Well, I always wipe down the counter and then you set out the napkins and glasses. But you didn't come, so I just... Kept on wiping. See that? That spot's really clean, though. I, I, I know what it is. Look how clean it is. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Just, just go cook some food. Oh, got it. He does know you meant in character, right? I did. Wait, have I heard rumors about my daughter's activities? As a matter of fact, you have. Then I ask her directly. Oh, this will be fun. Mary Sue. Yeah. What goes on up at Lovers Lane? Well, sex. 
Oh. What sex? You see, when a person is feeling in that particular way and in a hot tub... And that's how you pull a rabbit out of a hat. That's Preston did you didn't, all right? Textbook. God, how can this get more out of hand? Sorry, I'm late. <clears throat> What's going on? What is it? Ah, uh, scoot over. Uh, can I help you? Well, I... I'm just gonna get it on this, um, <laughs> the uh... mayor of Pleasantville. I like that character. What? Okay, catch me up. Uh, well, the kids are having sex, music's getting loud, uh, books are starting to fill with words, oh, and people are starting to become colorized. Call a town meeting! You explain intercourse to your mother and all hell breaks loose. Hey, DM. What? What do I do? Oh, right, uh... You play the father, you just... come home from work. Honey, I'm home. That's it? Oh, and all the stuff in the house is yours. A house full of my stuff? The legends were true! Can you get back to me? Yes, you find yourself drawn to this one book that you've never actually finished reading before. Well, I go home and study it. A 50s girl studying textbooks? That's like an alternate reality where like we all fly zeppelins and then all of a sudden the world gets destroyed for the galactic bypass. I still don't know where you come up with this stuff. Ah, oh, come on. I'll show you. The only one by myself. There's at least 42 of them that I know about here. Oh, come on, Sado, it's gonna be fun. Now that the vagrants are gone, we can start this meeting. I think we all know what's been going on here. Up until now, everything around here has always been, well, pleasant. Recently, certain things have become unpleasant. Now, it seems to me that the first thing we have to do is to separate out the things that are pleasant from the things that are unpleasant. We must concentrate these people in camps. Wow. I don't thank you. That was clearly sarcasm, dick. Throw him in the brig! And then you see, Silo, that's why the dolphins left Earth. Where did you get a TARDIS? It's not a TARDIS, it's a phone booth. That was one heck of a long distance call we made. So, what'd we miss? Uh, Bacchus is in jail. Bacchus, what are you doing? Paint a nude lady on the cafe window. Who? The other Andrew. It was tastefully done. Mom! The mayor is putting the, uh, Soda jerk on trial for using too many colors in his painting. Uh, well, I'm representing him. I feel better already. I think we want to keep these proceedings as pleasant as possible. I don't think a lawyer will be necessary. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Yeah, I Bill? do. Maybe if I painted something different. Or maybe I could use less colors or something. Or, you know, certain colors. And I guess that, uh... That's really the end of my heart. I don't know uh, what uh, else to say, Kelvin. Let me handle this. I speak for the defeated. Oh, uh, cunt, I don't think so. Overruled. Are you overruling me? Trust me, do not get on TM's bad side. No, let it slide this time. Better. What do you want to do to me right now? Come on. Everyone is turning colors. Kids are making out in the street. No one is getting their dinner. Hell, you could have a flood any minute. Pretty soon, the women could be going off to work while the men stayed at home and cooked. That is not going to happen. But it could happen. No, it could not. Oh, man, he's never good way to go. Was your rebuttal? If you can't take the heat, get out of the session. So, having made your case for, for the freedom of all people in Pleasantville, Calvin and Bacchus, uh, you are set free. Psycho continues reading. And the world continues into the 60s. Hang on a second. Can't you just let the man finish a story for one? How can one court case and an elected official in a small town completely rewrite history? Well, if you must know, it uh, symbolizes the uh, country's maturity. Uh, for one example, like the civil rights movement. Wait, civilians have rights? Uh, no, 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 that's not what that phrase means, Beck. Oh, good, good. So I thought we were doing something wrong to that guy over there for a bit. My house? All my stuff? How much gold can I get for it? I wonder if he'll ever pass that escape artist check. Well, let's go to the teacher and find out. Not again! They might be gone a while this time. Kelvin and Psycho are kind of pivotal with this next bit, so, uh... Guess we wait. What do we do? Lunch again? Arr. Yeah, screw it. Break out the decks.
wait, okay, I'm a little late, but here, I'm ready, I'm... Yay, I won the bet. <laughs>